YAML is another sort of plain text syntax format that we could write in text edit or our code editor or any sort of thing that we wanted that supports plain text. And a YAML um, is different from Markdown in that YAML is more about structuring data. Markdown is about uh, content and kind of about semantics, where YAML is about structure. And a lot of the syntax things that will run into YAML are very familiar structures that people who have programming language experience would understand. So things like arrays and objects and stuff like that. So I've created a new YAML file here. You can see it just has the extension .yml, and I'm going to start writing some YAML. So let's make this YAML document about a dinosaur of some kind. So we're going to start by creating a, an entry here. Uh, I'm going to come up with any random thing that I want, and I'm just going to call it name. So I'm going to write the word name, then a colon and a space, and let's go with Tyrannosaurus, like that. So here is the name. Here's one entry in my YAML document. If I want to make another one, I can hit enter and, you know, put something else. So period. Oops. Late Cretaceous. Like that. So I've got two th structured pieces of information in my YAML document. So let's do another one here. Let's say um, age, uh, something like 160 million years or something like that. So let's just do 160. That can be in uh, millions of years. Uh, okay, let's, say, uh, let's create another one, uh, likes to eat. And this is going to be a list of things. So I'm going to hit enter this time, and I'm going to hit tab like this, and then put dashes. So likes to eat um, other dinosaurs, for sure. Meat, more meat, uh, not plants. All right, so here is, this is uh, an array. You can see it's a little bit different from the other things. These all start with a name followed by a colon and then some information. You could actually map those if you wanted in your brain to something like a DL in HTML. This here would then map to something like an unordered list in HTML, but it doesn't map directly because it's not like Markdown. It will not generate HTML out of this. It's just a way for us to sort of um, structure our content. Now we could have, right here we have a list of items inside of this entry, but we could have more entries inside of um, other entries. So let's do some details about the T-Rex. So let's go with dimensions. Now under that we could put sub-entries like width, uh, I'm just making this up, three meters, I don't even know. Uh, height, eight meters, it's probably way too small. Anyways, length, 12 meters, and uh, weight, four tons, I have no idea. <laughs> so. I can structure my data by having lists of things, which would map kind of like a UL. This here would be DLs and DTs and DDs. Um, and I can have, I can keep going deeper and deeper into the different structures of my YAML. Now, another thing is YAML can be validated. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to my browser and I've got a page here called YAML Lint open up. And I can paste my stuff in here and press go, and I'll, it'll tell me whether it's valid or not. Sometimes when we're writing YAML, say um, if we have an ampersand in here, you can see that the syntax highlighter is unhappy about that. And so what we can do is just surround that in quotes, and we'll sort of solve those problems. As you see that the, the validator kind of did that for us, even though it was technically unnecessary in most situations, sometimes it can be helpful.